Hi, friends. Good to get to sit down with you like this. Oh, I forgot to hook up my uh, my webcam so we don't have a great picture here. Uh, it's been a good day here. Been a busy couple days, honestly. Just trying to get things lined out and figured out for the rest of uh, this year, kind of, you know. So, welcome to the new digs. I know y'all guys have seen this before. This is my buddy's place, is what this is. I. Uh, this is our new production, or I, I shouldn't say production office. Production office is still down at the mill. Uh, this is our new editing bay is what this is. See, with my desk there at the shop and everything, and since we're starting to get jobs and stuff, I'm not really able to sit there while we've got rigs in there and everybody, you know, twisting wrenches and stuff and get any editing done. I haven't even really been able to come up with any cool ideas for videos and stuff. So what I've done here is I've moved the editing bay into my friend's office here. So I want to be able to set it up nice. I'll be able to come here and chill out where I can spend the three to four hours I need per video to be able to edit stuff together. Also, I found new accommodations, so I'm not having to camp anymore. Now, I can camp when I want to. Y'all guys know me. The road wanderer likes to sleep in his truck every now and then. It's not as much fun, though, when I have to do it, right? So what we've done, there's a nice little place down here. It's basically, I'm going to call it like a one-room apartment kind of, right? Uh, it's enough that I have a place that I can crash. There's a, a bathroom close, that kind of stuff. And so while I'm here in Orville, it gives me somewhere that I can stay. My plans for this year are to bounce back and forth between the little communities, my orchard uh, home where I live, and, uh, and Chapaca and surrounding areas. This year, we're going to go out and we're going to do a lot of cool sightseeing and stuff. We're going to go to different areas besides just the cabin. Uh, oh, pardon me. I'm burping on screen. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Y'all might can tell I'm a little bit sleepy tonight. I can't stay on here with you for long uh, because I want to go ahead and hit it. Uh, I was thinking about trying to do Music Madness tomorrow night. But if I go to sleep tonight, I can wake up uh, tomorrow kind of early and I can get some stuff done that I want to do around town. So I've been talking with a couple places here around town. And what I want to do is kind of like show y'all guys in depth the, the charms uh, of this this little town, you know, uh, here in Orville and, and all the little places that I enjoy and introduce you to a few of my friends who I think y'all will quickly become y'all's friends. And then we're going to head back out to the orchard. Uh, I went out tonight, actually, those of y'all who have seen my short from tonight, it was so cool. I got to go out and hang out with the boss lady and the gym I work for. I uh, went down to the picker cabin and everything. And boy, I cannot believe how spring has started. It's like the magic of the orchard is totally there. The The cherry trees are starting to get their little blossoms. Oh, the weeping cherry. I didn't get any pictures. I know y'all would love to see it. Uh, the weeping cherry has started to blossom. And, and so it is a beautiful little tree. I know a lot of y'all guys know and love it. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just really excited for all of the things to come. Life has its problems, its difficulties. Uh, sometimes it's easier, it feels easier when life gets complicated and things become difficult to kind of let things go, kind of, right, and be what they may be. In my life, I've decided and discovered, though, that addressing issues can actually make things very positive in life. Uh, issues that can be a problem, if we approach them the right ways, can actually give us better positive energy than they ever could have given us the negative. I know I'm being kind of cryptic and everything, but you know, I do that sometimes with y'all guys on purpose too. It allows us to put, to kind of put what I'm talking about into our own lives, sort of, you know, I talked to y'all guys like that because a few of the people that I learned from uh, in my recovery and stuff, they did the same thing. I was always really interested, especially when I was in Betty Ford, at the dynamic of a group setting where people could talk to each other and convey information and opinions without upsetting each other or, or sounding like they were preaching at the other person. So a large part of what I do nowadays is I try and talk in ways that are just relevant to me 
And then anybody else that might be going through a situation or sign that I have dealt with, they can see what's applicable for their life. If there's anything there, really, you know, I, uh, and so that's why I do a lot of the stuff I do. Getting to do this with y'all guys has been really cool. I'm looking really forward to finishing up my production here uh, and, and then getting to go out into the woods for a little while. I feel like I need that defrag time kind of, you know, and then coming back. I also want to do some videos and stuff about Tenasket and all. I've got a couple cool friends in Tenasket. And uh, yeah, I had thought too uh, about maybe doing some children's story reading. Uh, somebody I follow actually on Instagram, I was watching one of his videos. It was really, really good very motivational. And so I thought that I might uh, try and recall from memory some of my dad's children's stories uh, from back in the day. And I can just recite them to y'all guys because I don't have any of the prints or anything, but I worked. Yeah, yeah, really. I worked on them so much that they're like kind of memorized. I actually, a neat thing I wanted to share with y'all is that, uh, so there's a story, not the Alaskan squirrel that my dad wrote. And it's about a little squirrel that falls into a uh, stream, gets swept far away from home. And uh, to get back, he has to learn from all the rest of the animals how they survive. What is the one little thing that they do that makes it where they can survive? And he learns all of these different things from all these different animals and finally finds his way back home. Here over the past year, because I get a lot of motivation from that story, I've kind of come up with a sequel to it, which is, it's almost a spoof of my dad's original story, kind of with a little bit of my own story kind of mixed into it, and then in a way kind of makes a sequel, if that makes any sense. So I'd like to share that with y'all guys. I... Uh, Oh, I, see. I can't resist seeing that. I Arrow fans popped up so many squirrels down there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm super sleepy. You know how it is when you run in uh, a lot, right, and our brain is actually kind of more active than our body, how it's hard to sleep and stuff at night. And for me, even when I get like eight hours or something, which I always try and get seven to eight hours, it helps me think better during the day, you know. Still, though, if I'm if I'm in situations where my brain's running a lot, even though I get the right amount of sleep, I don't feel rested, really. And so, like, today, with a lot of stuff taken care of and a lot of good, positive thoughts for the future and plans and everything, I am exhausted because I, I think that my brain now, more than my body, is kind of ready to go to sleep, you know? Uh, oh, the podcast is going to be so cool tomorrow. So I plan tomorrow morning what I'm going to do is go out and I'm going to shoot a little bit of the town and stuff, right? We'll just go on an exploring kind of tour is what I was thinking. Take y'all guys with me and then that'll be a quick video that I can drop tomorrow night. But then after I get through shooting, I need to finish up the podcast, uh, which will be pretty cool. Like I told you last time I was on here, uh, the... The audio is really good for the ladies that I'm interviewing, my friends, but then for some dang reason, my audio is kind of like scratchy and wobbly and everything. Tonight, I came up with an idea while I was driving out to see the bosses on how I might can fix that. If it's an issue and it's too bad, what I'm going to do is when I talk, I'll just do a black screen with words on it, explaining what I said, and then I'll cut back to my friends like, their part of the conversation is kind of what I've, I've constructed in my head. As always, I still want to do the YouTube tutorial. Uh, one thing, so if I was just going to tell you right now, one uh, like tip or trick that I can give to filming that makes the filming easier to edit and kind of more fun to watch, more visually appealing, is that the more times we move the camera, the, the more appealing it's going to be. So like if I'm doing something, I will only do it for like maybe 20 seconds before I move the camera to another location. And I don't have to stop down and put it on a tripod and figure out what, where the shot is. All I do is I take my camera, I set it like say here, and let's say I'm just working on something, right? So I'm working on this, and then I'll just take my camera and I'll move it over here. Or I'll just slide it over there, or I'll just turn it a little bit. And what that does is in the edit, I'm able to go in and I cut out the part of me moving the camera 
and then it just it stitches together really well. That's why I don't use a lot of transitions either. Now, my friends, they they seem to work the transitions into their art really well. Like my buddy Michael, uh, my my friend Michael, he uh, is the transition king. That he has a, a way of doing it, kind of like his art, his eye goes to a place where it makes it really pretty. What I do is I don't worry so much about the transition as the clip. So if I have a lot of good continuity between moving the camera, then I don't really have to worry about a transition unless I want to close one scene and then open another. I might use a transition. Uh, I might. Sometimes I just do a camera trick. So I, I will, you've seen it, I'll rotate the camera and let it like drop like you're falling out of the scene uh, or that slow what what Michael calls the, what is it? It's the dead man's pan or something because it looks like you're dying, right? The camera just pans up. Then a good, the, my last tip for YouTube filming is when we're finished with the scene, whatever it is we're doing, be sure to shoot a wide. What that means is we step back further than the camera has been through the entire thing. And then we shoot a little piece of us doing whatever it is we're doing. And that gives a good close. It kind of like lets the audience or the viewers kind of know that the scene is closing, cool down a little bit, and then get ready for the next scene. Uh, and that's what I've got tonight for my YouTube tutorial. I have, all right, so one more thing. I have a couple of my videos, the most recent videos that I've done out on the adventure. I left the edit a little bit what they call dirty. I didn't cut out me moving the camera as much as I normally would. And I've left that in a few spots for anybody that's interested in going back and checking out kind of my technique and how, how I work it. Now, I want we, it, we've been on for 11 minutes. Uh, there's 93 of us here, here in the office. Video's been liked 40 times, which for 12 minutes is amazing. Uh, it is 11, 12 p.m. specifically Pacific time, 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Now, I happen to know that 50 degrees Fahrenheit is 10 degrees Celsius. So I'm assuming, do you, do you know what they say about making assumptions? Uh, it's, it's, look at me acting like I can do math. It could be zero degrees Celsius as a guess. I'm not really sure. It's chilly out. It's not like I like my coat on tonight. I'm going to stop BSing you now, and I'm going to jump into the comments and say, hey, to y'all guys, real quick before I go to sleep. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. I see you in there. I want to scroll back up real quick. Oh, man. Y'all guys have gone so much. Okay. Kansas City, Steve. Jeff, Kathy, Yamini, Rocky, Moline, Lady Luck, Jenny, Christy, Amber, Maddie, Jack, Karina, Amber, Yvonne, uh, hey, Yvonne, uh, uh, Nagjar Channel, Kindness, uh, Katie, Matt, R34, Sherry, MLD, Stacy, Terry, Marty B, Arrowfan, uh, Frontier, High Frontier, uh, Joan, Cheryl, uh, let's see, Amber, SCW, Mauricia, uh, Arrow, Joan, Janie, Kathy, Bettina, and Madman in the house. Uh, Kathy, Carol, uh, We MP3 Roll. That's a neat name. What? Well, Raquel, hey Raquel, Tony's in the house, Matt Olshev, hey Matt, uh, Cheryl Oblivious, Kate, oh I love your name Kate, that's so cool, Britta, hi Britta, hey, uh, let's see, scrolling through, Just making sure I'm not missing anybody, uh, Gypsy's in the house, hey Gypsy, Anton, oh Tony, yep, yeah. Laura, uh, Aunt B, long time no see, Aunt. Hey, let's see. Okay, so I want to get down here. Uh, oh, do we have a birthday? Madman's saying happy birthday somebody. Hang on. If someone has a birthday, oh, if somebody has a birthday, happy birthday. 
Yes, absolutely. And if you do, be sure and put it here in the comments in a minute and we'll do a birthday celebration with you. It's one of my favorite things to do here on our channel, guys. Uh, Marie, Maria, Katie. Uh, Katie says, hope Tom feels better soon. I know, so do I. The guy's been working really hard. Uh, I think he just needs to recharge his batteries. Let's see. Jenny saying hi to Gypsy. Yvonne saying hey to Jenny. Uh, Gypsy says, I will tell him everyone is wishing him well. Excellent, Gypsy, for sure. Let him know that we all care about him out here. Uh, Nagjar says, remember when you move the camera, use the left and right rules uh, regarding conflict. Okay, very cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. One thing I do like to do, I you might have noticed, I've recently developed a pan shot that I'll do where I will trade the camera. I like to look at the camera almost like it's a puppet, right? And so whatever the puppet sees is kind of how y'all guys are present there with me. And so I mindfully think of that. Recently, I've started doing a pan shot that I actually got from my buddy Michael because I like to say that Michael is also the king of pans. He's y'all might have noticed on a few of his videos that when he gets down close to something, he can do it's almost that professional TV. What do they call it? It's a rhino slide kind of effect. Uh, so what I like to do is I've kind of adopted that and I'll do a pass off from my right hand to my left hand like this and then scroll back around like so. Let's see. Tony says. Uh, oh, you're talking to Raquel. Okay. Gypsy, I am great. Thank you. I uh, cool. Hoorah. Let's see. Arrow fans. Got, yep, Matt. Can't wait to go. Oh, sorry. It dropped down. I think she's saying can't wait to go camping. Uh, Why wow, y'all have outrun me so bad here? I can't. I don't know how I get back to you. And now I don't know what buttons I'm pushing. Look at me out here. Uh Let's see. John, please do the children's stories, Matt. Cool, John. Okay, absolutely. I, I was hoping that y'all guys would be into it for sure. Melody A says, hey, Matt, haven't caught a live in a while. I miss you and everyone. I miss you too, Melody. You and everyone, my friend. I haven't been on as much as I would like to be. I've missed you too. I've missed all of y'all guys. Now I'm going to start being on more now that things have sort of started to mellow out a little bit. It's the, uh, you know, like camping in one spot and then the next and then trying to be on with like with everybody and everything is really difficult sometimes. Uh, please know I'm not on here. I'm still thinking about y'all guys. I know you're doing well out there. What I love about our community is that not only do we like join in here and have our community time and everything, I know a lot of y'all guys actually look out for each other in your personal lives and message each other and help each other with support, getting through things. And so I really appreciate and respect that about y'all guys. You do such a good job. I don't know. Has anybody told you that today, this afternoon, this evening, or this night, that you do a really good job? And the world is better because of the job that you do, whether it's just smiling at somebody and happily asking them how their day is to make them feel better, or whether it is going out of our way to be able to be there for somebody going through a, a crisis. I'm just really proud to know y'all guys, and I'm so glad that you're all in my life and that you're in each other's lives. Hey, and welcome to my life. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Nikki, hi, Nikki. Raquel says, it had been a long time since I didn't catch a live. Uh, my schedule is very different. I Yes, I know, Raquel, a lot of us, our schedules are, uh, are kind of conflicting right now, you know? I'm just glad when we can get together. Dina says, hi, Matt. Dina from Orville. No kidding. Really? Well, hi, neighbor. It's good to hear from you. <laughs> uh, uh, Duke Booty, I still got to say that's an awesome name, says, uh, good to see you, Matt. 
Thanks, Duke. Right back at you. It's good to see you tonight. Rambo, First Blood, my favorite movie, by the way. Hey, Rambo. Okay, so it's not my favorite, favorite movie. It is my favorite Rambo, though. Uh, Rambo says, hey, brother, I'm happy to catch you today, Matt. Hello, everyone. I've had my heart surgery, and it went well. It's only the second day, so I'm still in recovery, so we'll take it easy and just chill today. Love. Hoorah, Rambo. That is the right moves right there. I'm so glad that it went well for you, and it sounds like you know exactly what you need to do. Just rest up, buddy. You know, I'm so glad it went well. Good job. Raquel saying, hey to Yvonne. Uh, Nagjar says, here is an easy Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion. Zero C is Fahrenheit. Oh, it's zero C is freezing Fahrenheit. See, I'm with you there. I know that. Yes. Uh, Fahrenheit 10 C OS cold. Fahrenheit 20 C is warm. Oh, you're playing with me. Ah, <laughs> 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 And 30 is hot. I love it. Totally. Thank you so much. That is that is actually really helpful. It really is. <laughs> You're killing it out there, bro. <laughs> so good. Uh, okay, I don't care. Tomorrow night, I might be tired or not. I don't care. We're going to probably do... Don't hold me to it. We'll probably do Music Madness. I miss getting to hang out with y'all guys. I need this. I need about four hours of good old-fashioned music. And your community company, guys. Uh, I am super tired, as previously stated, and just about ready to go for bed. So I'm going to do the run around one more time, and then I think we'll sign out, guys. And yeah, if I can get my daytime stuff done tomorrow in a small nap, we might go ahead and rock out to uh, some music madness. I still have to make sure that my Bluetooth speaker can play the the uh, YouTube audio library or creator music library from the same computer that I am broadcasting off of. So maybe tomorrow we might do a test run on that and I uh, and make sure we can do it. So uh, we have been broadcasting for 22 minutes. There are 100 of us here in the new editing bay. The video has been liked a whopping 62 times, which is really good for a little under a half hour. Uh, it is 11.22 specifically Pacific time, fourth month, Fifth day, year of our Lord, 2024, 39 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is cold in Celsius. Well, it's chilly. It's chilly in Celsius. Uh, is it actually 39 degrees outside? It feels like it's 39 degrees, but I didn't expect that. Wow. So that is actually... Uh, 4 degrees... Celsius, I'm only taking a wild guess. I'm probably wrong. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes it's better to go for it and be wrong than it is to not go for it at all, I've discovered in life. So it's also nice to have a good, forgiving community and group of friends out there who support us even when we make mistakes. So uh, remember, guys, you are important. I care about you. I can't wait until the next time that we get to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> never give up. Never surrender. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I can't do the tip back. I got a water bottle back here. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. There we go. Now we're doing it. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.